TNT. Brand up to date. Hello, and here we are at the Coffermerks on the 5th of April 2013. So Simon, why do you want to restore this building? Well, it's an amazing bit of uh, Birmingham's industrial history. Um, and if you look in this street around us here, you'll see it's one of the only old buildings left uh, of this bit of, the, bit of the jewellery quarter. It's got an incredible story to tell about a business making coffin fittings in, in uh, Birmingham, which is a really big trade at one time. Uh, and it was left with all its stock and everything intact. So we've got a really good story to tell about a Birmingham business. It's a fantastic building with all its own arm windows, a custom built factory. And we think that people will be really interested to see it. And we think it would be a very great shame if it was knocked down. What are all these people doing here today? Well, today we've got to uh, come in some volunteers from Ernst & Young. Um, and they're helping us to clear out the last remaining parts of the coffin fittings and all the stock and machinery, because the factory was full of stock and machinery that was left in 1999. Most of that's gone off into a store now. We've kept a little bit of it to show people. There's lots of things like this that needs to be wrapped. Why is something on there? And this is the shroud room. And these are the shrouds. They're like robes. This is called a crimping machine. This is the machine that puts the patterns on. I wonder who's going to be cleaning this? This is a plastic room. It once looked like this. This is a modern extension, but it looks worse than the old one. It looks like there's drainage pipes on the inside. And this is the office. Have a look at this. These are some of the books before the days of technology. This is a clocking in machine. And of course, you would need a safe. <coughs> Ugh, can't get in. This was a stamping room, and it was probably the noisiest of the lot. Metal like this was turned into this using this stamping machine. Here are two of the volunteers. So, what are you doing today? Well, we're just here today in this big abandoned coffin works and really we're just sorting out all the, um, all the things they've left really, put it into archive for safekeeping. It'll look amazing, hopefully, when it's all completed. It's like a workshop, isn't it, pretty yeah, much? Yeah, There's like different rooms and you actually can kind of like visualise how working life, back, uh, how working life was back in the year. Not prehistoric times, but <laughs> <laughs> to us back in the war it. times. <laughs> so yeah, it's been quite, quite an eye-opener actually. Yeah, it's really interesting, yeah, definitely. What do you think it will look like in the future when you've restored the building back to its original place? Well, in one sense we hope it's not going to look very different, because that's the idea, we're kind of restoring it. We want people to be able to experience what it was like. But all sorts of things need to be repaired. The roof leaks, we've got buckets all over the place, kept in the water that comes in. The windows, are the, uh, the arms all rusted and they need fixing. But we want it to look pretty similar. What we will do, what will be different, is we'll have all the stuff back in it again, so it'll look just like it was when it was found, uh, you know, when, when, when it was first uh, the factory closed in, in 1999. All the stock around, everything for people to see, all the stamps, we're going to have the, the, a lot of the machinery working again. So I hope it's going to be great. But around the back, and some of the shopping, as we call where the workshops are around the back, like the polishing shop and things like that, these are actually going to be turned into uh, commercial units that people can let out with fairly cheap rent. And um, we hope there will be businesses coming in and joining us in the coffin works. So as well as the museum, if you want to call it that, or heritage attraction, um, there'll be people coming in here to work. So uh, it's going to be a busy place. Hopefully, we'll be around to see this project completed. AJ Lindo, TNT News, in the coffin, works.